so excited to be joined again today by my good friend and your good friend, Froggy the Gator. Froggy, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great, and I am so excited to be back for another show today, because today we are talking about something truly magnificent. Oh, yeah? Well, what, what's that, Froggy? I, I think I have an idea, but why don't you tell me what we're talking about? Well, today we are talking about one of the most amazing creatures in the ocean, whales! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I should have known, since, since we have a video of a whale playing right there, that that's what we would be talking about. So, Froggy, why don't you tell me, and everybody else listening, what is it that you like most about these amazing animals? Oh, man, well, I don't even know where to begin. I guess we'll start with the fact that whales are the biggest animals on Earth. They can be as long as three school buses and weigh as much as 33 elephants. Plus, they're really gentle and incredibly smart. Oh, yeah, wow, that's impressive. So, Froggy, I, I'm guessing there's different types of whales that you can tell us about, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So there are two main types of whales. There's baleen whales and toothed whales. And a baleen whale has these comb-like plates in their mouth that they use to filter food from the water. And tooth whales, on the other hand, well, they have teeth. And they eat bigger prey like fish and squid. That is interesting. That's interesting, Froggy. So can you give us an example of a baleen whale and an example of a tooth whale? Of course I can, of course I can. So, one of the most famous baling whales, which you've probably heard of, is the blue whale. They are the largest animals to have ever lived on Earth. Then, for tooth whales, we have the orca, which is also known as the killer whale. And despite their name, they're actually part of the dolphin family, and they're really intelligent. Blue whales and orcas, okay, those seem like some impressive creatures. So what's one of the coolest facts that you know about blue whales, Froggy? Well, a really cool fact about blue whales is that their hearts are the size of a small car, and their tongues alone can weigh as much as an elephant. I'll say that again. Their tongues alone can weigh as much as an elephant. They are truly that gigantic. Oh my gosh, Froggy, that's incredible. Well, what, okay, well what about orcas? What, what, what is it that makes them so special? Well, orcas are fascinating because they live in groups called pods and they have really complex social structures. They communicate with each other using clicks and whistles and other sounds. Plus, they work together to hunt, to, which just really shows how smart they are. Yeah. Teamwork, right? Teamwork makes the dream work. That's what they say, right, Froggy? So how do these whales communicate with each other? You, let's hear a little bit more about that. Yeah, so what they do is they have a bunch of different sounds which can travel really long distances because sound waves can travel farther underwater. And baleen whales will sing long, complex songs, while toothed whales will use those clicks and whistles I was talking about earlier. It's kind of like they have an underwater language. Whale songs. I never, I, I don't think I actually knew that, Froggy. I learned something new today. Thank you for sharing that. So where in the world do we find whales like these? Whales can be found in oceans all over the world. Some species of whales prefer cold waters like in the Arctic and Antarctic, while others are found in warmer tropical and temperate regions. They migrate really long distances to find food and to have babies. Oh, that's a lot of traveling. So what you said they migrate really long distances to find food. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, they migrate, uh, they, they follow their food, and they may give birth to their babies in warm water. So for example, humpback whales, they travel from the really cold waters of Antarctica to the warm waters near the equator to have their babies. It's quite the journey. Wow, Froggy, you sure do know a lot about whales. How did you learn all of this? Well, it's funny. I have a friend named Wormbird, who if you listen to my podcast, you know about him. And his dad is always working at the aquarium, where he's one of the managers. And they have whales at the Gator Grove Aquarium. And so Wormbird teaches us everything his dad teaches him about whales. 
That sounds amazing, Froggy. So can you tell us, uh, can you tell us, have you been to the aquarium? And what, what kind of stuff do you see when you go to the aquarium? That's right, I have been to the aquarium. And they, when you go, you'll see a ton of amazing exhibits where you learn about all different marine animals, including, of course, whales. They even have life-size models of whales, so you can really see how big they actually are. That sounds like a really fun place to visit, Froggy. You know, I have a couple more questions about whales. So, for instance, what kind of food do they eat? Well, that depends on the type of whale. The baleen whales we were talking about eat tiny shrimp-like animals called krill or other really tiny small fish. And they'll take in a huge mouthful of water all at once and then push the water out through between plates in their mouth, which traps the food inside. Toothed whales, on the other hand, like orcas, eat larger prey like fish, squid, and even seals. Wow, that's quite a, quite a diet, a protein-rich diet, smart. Do, do these whales, do they have any natural predators? Most whales are at the top of the food chain, but really young or sick whales can sometimes fall prey to sharks or even other groups of orcas. But generally, whales are safe from predators because of their size and their strength. Gotcha, gotcha, that's good to know. Well, thank you, Froggy, for sharing all of this incredible information about whales with us today. You're welcome, Harrison. And remember, kids, if you want more shows like this one, make sure that you get your parents' permission to subscribe to our channel and to click like on this video. And until next time, see you later from Froggy the Gator.